Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can transform one object into another using Adobe After Effects. Let's get straight into it. First we'll take a look at the original shot. I just placed the power socket splitter on the table and I snapped my fingers. Then I replaced the object with a cup and I grabbed it. Now that we have this recorded, let's open up After Effects. I already placed the shot on the timeline and cut out the section where I swept these two objects. Now we can synchronize them and we can start working on the transition. Duplicate the layer with the original object and grab the pen tool. Next draw a mask around the object precisely. Now duplicate the layer with the second object and again draw a mask around the cup. Also don't forget to name your masks. I'll call this one original and the second one new. Now comes the fun part. Copy the original mask and paste it onto the layer with the new object. Also set the mask blending mode to none. Then copy the new mask and place it onto the layer with the original object. Again set the mask blending mode to none. We can hide the top layers for now. Search for reshape effect and apply it to the layer with the original object. As our source mask we're gonna select original and the new mask as our destination mask. This means that the original object will transform its shape into the shape of the cup. So when we increase the percent it will morph into the shape of the second mask. We can also define the points where the object should be stretched. You can simply hold Alt on the keyboard and click to add a new point. Then adjust the points. Now that we have these points we can animate it. Enable animation for percent, then go a few frames ahead and increase it to 100%. Next animate the opacity to go from 100 to 0%. This way the object will begin to morph and fade out at the same time. Now we're gonna basically repeat the same process with the second object, but the other way around. We'll select the new mask as our source, and the original mask as our destination mask. What we want to achieve is that the cup will first have the shape of the original object, and then it will transform into its proper shape. Start the animation at 100%, and then decrease it to 0%. Also animate the opacity from 0 to 100%. This way the object will fade in and get into its shape. And when we play these layers at the same time, we can see the transition. Then also animate the layer below the cup to fade in. Now we have this. This step is optional, but I can duplicate the layer with the original object and make a mask around the top of the power socket splitter and animate it to kind of form the top of the cup. To make the transition even better, I'll add some glow using the glow effect. And this is how it looks right now. Additionally, I found some green screen particles on the internet and added them on top of all these layers. It's subtle, but it definitely helps to sell the effect. Top it all off with some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.